go to heaven, goats go to hell. Okay, I think this one kind of sets up a false dichotomy. I, I know that um, uh, Imaginary God Bless You, I know he wasn't trying to set up a false dichotomy, but I think there is a false dichotomy implied here. Um, um, theists and atheists don't have to go their separate ways. We can meet somewhere in the middle, and um, uh, there's this guy um, I can't remember his last name. His first name's Michael. But if you do a if you do a Google for um, uh, uh, Thank God for Evolution, uh, you'll come up with his website, and uh, he is a very very cool guy. He's a, he calls himself an uh, evolutionary evangelist. He's not a he's not an evangelist in like the fundamentalist sense, he, but he evangelizes about this evolutionary Christianity, which uh, um, is very interesting. He has this interesting concept about uh, about day language and night language, uh, which I think is also very interesting. Um, and you could almost consider him a, an atheist. I think he's I think he's pretty close to a deist actually. But um, you could almost consider him an atheist. But that guy's that guy's really cool. But um, uh, as far as as far as atheists trying to convert theists, I don't think that we should do that. I think that uh, I think that that looks bad upon us, and that's especially since that's one of the major things that we criticize theists for doing. Not to say that we shouldn't debate theists. I do think that that's, uh, there's there's a benefit to that. Even if you don't, uh, well, obviously I, you're not going to convert the theists that you're debating with. But I think um, uh, it's beneficial for the for the audience, um, for the people who um, who may already have come to this conclusion that themselves that they, that there probably is no God, that they're just um, they, they don't really they don't really know how to express themselves and uh, you know whenever they say you know well uh, well you know if if God created the universe then who created God and then somebody tells them oh well God always existed oh that makes sense to me but then you know uh, when they hear people like us debate they they find out that that actually doesn't really make sense um, so, uh, so it is important for us to debate theists, but I, I don't think that we should ever try and convert theists. Um, like I said, it just looks bad on us. I have never actually read the Bible, like not not all the way through. I've read verses. I think most people have read verses. Um, uh, but, but yeah, I've never read the whole thing all the way through. If I'm ever debating with somebody and they, um, they mention a specific verse, um, I'll go look it up to, uh, either refute it, you know, maybe they're recording it out of context, or, you know, say, okay, you were right, I was wrong, sorry. Um, uh, because really, I don't know much about the Bible, and I'll just tell them that. I'll I'll say, well, real honestly, I don't know that much about the Bible, so that's your that's your department. So yeah, I, I I've never read the Bible in its entirety. I I've, I've rarely read um, entire chapters. Um, I think I read most of Genesis, and that was about as far as I could get. I got to I got to Noah, and um, I just couldn't I. I'd much rather read like I mean it's it's such archaic language and uh, um, if I'm going to be reading archaic language I'd much rather read like Shakespeare or something like that um, because at least Shakespeare has this like 
you know, like a like a like plot development. Um, whereas the Bible just takes so long to get to the point that it, that it's trying to make, and I don't even really think it 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 gets to a point ever. Um, but anyway, those are my questions, and uh, see you guys later.